Hi guys, welcome to my office. I'm just kidding, I'm a student so I don't have an office. <laughs> office right now so I am currently a master's student at the University of Houston in the marketing department I'm also a teaching assistant but I did my undergraduate degree in Toronto in theater so it's kind of a big shift both geographically and career wise but this is where I am this is what I'm doing and basically I've been here since August so I've been here for one full semester and there's a lot of things that I noticed that are super different when it comes to universities in the States and in Canada and that's what we're gonna talk about today okay first things first is when you actually are applying to get into the school so in Canada they look at your grades a little bit in high school but it's mostly about the full entire application so you have to write an essay usually you have to do an interview and it's really based off of your personality whereas in the states you have to write a standardized test so if you're doing your undergraduate degree you have to write the SATs if you're doing a master's degree you either have to write the GMAT or the GRE depending on what program you're going into um, so it's really based off of that standard grade that everybody gets and oftentimes you won't even make it to the next round like the interview and the essay stage until you've met that certain standard of grades so that's a big difference when you're actually applying to go to a university in Canada or the US also you're your GPA is everything in the US. Your GPA, it stands for grade point average, so it's just your general grade. Um, so not only for applying, but also when you're in class, everybody knows pretty much what their GPA is. It's really important. People like talk about it too, to each other. Um, I honestly have no idea what my GPA was in Canada because I feel like people don't really pay as close of attention to that. Like it's, it's not as competitive in Canada, so it's kind of just, grades don't matter as much it's more how you perform in a group setting and the experience that you get whereas here in the u.s it's very focused on the grades that you're getting we all know about the spelling differences in canada and the u.s so in canada we use british english whereas in america it's american english um, and generally it's the same but there are a lot of words that are spelt different as well more than honestly i actually thought until i moved here and had to start like spelling things in American English. So luckily you can actually change your computer, the keyboard setting, so that it will automatically change everything to American English so that in the beginning when you're just learning all of those word differences, um, it'll be a lot easier because your computer will automatically do it. I feel like it's very formal here in the States and in Canada things are a lot more informal. So for example, in the states here you call a teacher you call them professor or doctor um whereas i've never used either of those words before in canada um, in canada i called all of my professors by their first name they introduced themselves by their first names and they wanted you to call them by their first names whereas here in the states by default it's always professor or doctor unless they say otherwise and it's very insulting if you don't call them that and you just go straight for their first name so that's a big difference also here in the States, and I don't know if this is just a Southern thing because things everyone's very respectful of authority here, um, but you have to call everyone ma'am and sir. Uh, whereas in Canada, if you call someone ma'am, they get offended by it. So you don't, you just avoid saying ma'am and sir in general in Canada. Like I said, it's usually a first name basis for everybody. Whereas here in the States, everybody calls everybody ma'am and sir all the time. Like even if someone is, younger than you, you still call them ma'am or sir. It's just different, something to note. Okay, this one is kind of, I don't know if it's just me or if this is a Canada versus America thing, but I'm gonna say it because somebody definitely called me out on it, um, so it's worth mentioning, and that is mark and grade. Um, grade being like what you what you score on a test so you get like an A, a B or a C that's your grade um, whereas I've always said mark so I'll say like oh, oh what mark did you get or that's that's the mark that I got um, and I said that one time in class and everyone kind of laughed at me and told me that I was super Canadian so I don't know if that's just me or if that's like a thing um, 
what do you guys say? Maybe you can clear it up for all of us here. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. And finally, school spirit in the US is like, it's like school spirit on crack. So they're crazy about the school spirit here. Um, sports teams and athletes and everything like that. There's so much money that gets put into facilities and like having the best athletes and like all of that stuff. Not to mention that everybody goes to the football games all the time and they'll tailgate and they'll make like a whole thing about it. In Canada, we never had that. Like honestly, I have no idea the sports teams at all in my Canadian school. Like I barely even know, like I think we were Lions. Like, I don't know. It was just not a big deal. Mind you, this is coming from someone who um, was in the arts, so like wasn't really big into the sports. But I find that here in the States, doesn't matter if you're into sports or not, it's a big social thing. Um, not to mention that everybody has like all the swag, like the shirt and the pants and the, you know, everything that's all like about your university. Everyone is super proud and like will stick like bumper stickers on their car. And it's just like the school spirit is so, big here which can be really fun if you're into that kind of stuff and really awkward if you're like me and cheering makes you uncomfortable there's a lot more culture shock differences than what I thought like I always grew up thinking that Canada and America are pretty much the same thing but there's actually a lot more to it than that and that might just be because I went from like <laughs> north to like very south um, so I'm sure that the northern United States is probably more similar to Canada but this is my experience from going from Toronto to Texas um, these are the differences let me know if you guys can relate to any of this or if you have anything that I missed I would love to hear about it because I still have a few more semesters to go and I'd love to learn how to survive them in this different country. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't and follow me on Instagram. If you like these kind of videos about school stuff, I know it's my first one that I've ever made, but um, I'm kind of having fun doing it. So if you guys like it, then let me know and I can make some more like day in the life sort of things. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.